All right. So I'm just, you can obviously do this the AC method. If you want to do A times C, there's nothing wrong with that. However, ladies and gentlemen, I like four, and I like when I have one and one because my only possibilities, first of all, you know what's equal to zero. It's always going to equal zero. You have your polynomial equal to zero. You need to solve for x. So a lot of you, I see factoring, but then you forget to write the equal zero. So there's only two possibilities. You could do 2x times 2x, and you could do 4x times x. Those are your only possibilities for the first two terms, right? Now, the only two term possibilities for the last two terms are positive 1, positive 1, and negative 1, and negative 1, OK? But I look at my middle terms. They need to add to a negative number. So obviously, I can't use positive 1 and positive 1. But in reality, I only have two options, negative 1, negative 1, negative 1, negative 1. So I need to determine when I do my middle terms, out of those two problems, what is the only problem that adds up to give me a negative 5? Do, 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 do. Yeah, that one. So therefore, that's my problem. But I'm not done yet. I factored it, and it equals 0, but I'm not done. Now I need to apply the 0 product property. So I say 4x minus 1 equals 0, and x minus 1 equals 0. Solving for x, x equals 1 fourth, x equals 1. Okay. We have to know how to do these types of problems, because ladies and gentlemen, we're going to be doing problems